Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So excited you came back and decided to check out another YouTube video. Um, so today I thought I have kind of been on a mission to find like the best foundation for aging skin. And um, I got some pretty good ones. So today I'm going to use a brand that I really, really, really like that I've recently found. So I've been kind of an it girl. I love it cosmetics. They, um, that brand is just kind of close to my heart. I just love it. I love the whole founding story. I love all, everything that has to do with it. And honestly, they have great products. And so I love their foundation, but I decided to kind of veer from my it and look at some other foundations that I thought would cover some of the dark spots. I don't know if you can see the dark spots. Um, obviously, I have uh, some bags <laughs> under my eyes and, and dark circles for teenagers. Could have something to do with that. I don't know. I don't know. Age, job, you know, side business, the whole thing. Either way, I've got them. And so I was just kind of on a mission to find like the best thing I could find. And this brand is pretty great and their coverage is amazing too. So I thought I'd just do a video on using this brand um, to kind of cover just some of the issues I have with my skin. So I feel like if you have like a good base, you can kind of go from there and build upon it. So I just want to find the right base so that I can do that. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, well, I had already done it. I washed my face and I have moisturized it. So that's where I'm actually starting from. And I'm going to pull from my beauty binder, but um, I'm going to use the Prevel um, CC cream. And um, I, this is a primer and you'll see a lot of the issues are going to be dulled quite a bit just from a really good primer. So Bell is a good one. And I'll take it underneath and even on my eyelid. And it does kind of give you just kind of a smooth base to begin with. Um, you can still see the dark circles. Um, Some of the issues that I'm dealing with here um, with the, you know with the primer but it's not a miracle but it does it does help quite a bit so just with the primer I feel like you have a good solid base to start so then color correcting has been kind of my next thing that I've been trying to figure out which I don't really get if you have like dark undertones or light or cool or not cool or I have no idea what my undertones are. I, I just know that they have, they're dark. I have bags and I have dark circles and I have age spots and I want them gone when I put makeup on. So I don't really know the details about them. I just know I've got them. Um, so I've purchased quite a few different products too to try to fix that. Um, I'm going to try the Clinique Even Better um, color corrector and just because the lady at Sephora told me to. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here where I have the color correcting issue the most. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try it right here on my, some of my age spots. It's like, why not just try it everywhere? Let's see if it works. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it in a little bit. See if it helps. Too shallow. It's not too hot. Just helps to kind of just color correct a few little things and then you can put your foundation on. And I think it just kind of makes it smoother. And it kind of helps. It doesn't have to be such a miracle where you can have like a few things helping before you put the foundation on and then maybe maybe this stuff will kind of disappear so this is Ophir and I've seen it 
everywhere. And so, I don't know. So, that's why I, I like it. But, um, so I'm just going to put just a couple of pumps on here. There's a, um, a girl that I found, I think her name's Kelly. And I'm intrigued by her. I have to watch her videos. I just found her. I told Brooklyn, and she said, I'll check her out. And I'll let her know. But she just like, pours it on and like scoops it on and like covers her face and it's phenomenal when it's done but you know it helps not to know I mean you're not going to know how to do that but I'm just going to put this foundation on here brush it on Even gonna get a little bit of my lips to make my makeup stay on because I need to kind of put it over my eyes as kind of a another primer to pour in my eyes. And I'm just going to a baseball game today, so I'm not I wouldn't even be putting this much makeup on if I wasn't filming a video. But um yeah, I just want to check all the way down here and then what I think I'm gonna do is tilt the brush but I'm gonna take purple just to test Let's see how that works for coverage Not too bad. It's actually kind of scary when you think about how much it is. But it's pretty good coverage. It really is. And it doesn't feel as cloudy or as good as it normally does. or anything. Actually, it looks really good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. I'm not going to do much, a ton today, but I just want to kind of warm it up a little bit with a little bit of a, a bronzer. Um, actually, I'm not even a bronzer. I'm going to contour it a little bit, but I'll just kind of brush it all around and make it go right in here. This is fun to like. A little bit up here, here, and I can do here, 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 and then I'll just take this little brush and I'll kind of go up a little bit. I don't want to go down. And I'm going to go up like this, just a little bit. Do this like into my kind of into my hairline. And then don't forget about this because I've done that before and I swear I was in court. And I realized I forgot to <laughs> blend these out and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna use them over there and look like these lines. And that just gives you just a little bit of warmth. And if really, if I just wanted to put on like a little, like I could put on like this Je ne sais quoi from it, add a little bit of color. I mean, it wouldn't be terrible to do that for the day. And then I could just go out to the camera and do that. But it just gives you a little bit of color. Now, when you add a little bit of blush, then it even steps up. I'll do that. Okay, so this is the um, Ombre Radiance. This is from It. And let's see. I need to have had it for a really long time. Um, I need to do my makeup as much as I should. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this.
And I'll just say again, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, don't pretend to be one. I'm just honestly a girl that absolutely loves makeup. And I want to try the new stuff out there. And I just have so much fun putting it on and trying it. And, um, and because of my love for makeup and all things beauty, I decided to create a product. So I created Beauty Binder to organize my makeup when I couldn't find a solution. So I'm just... I'm on here just having fun and showing you what I do and hoping that we can share some different ideas and um, yeah, pretty much it, but what do you think? So all that is is just a little bit of um, contour and a little bit of blush and a little bit of lip gloss lipstick. So um, then what I can do is I can add like smidge of mascara and I can kind of put a little bit of brow in, you know, like a little bit of, you know, uh, something on my brows and really I don't have to do anything else if I don't want to. So let's put the mascara on. And I'm ready to go to the field. So there it is. Simple, easy, low ponytail. Um, I'll probably change my shirt and put a pair of jeans on, tennis shoes on, and I'll be off to the field. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And please leave me comments and um, like the video and share it. Um, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.